In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you everything that you need to know about immersive ads on Roblox. So this video will be helpful if you're either a developer looking to create and add immersive ads into your game, or if you're a business or person trying to advertise your products or games on Roblox. So first of all, let's talk about immersive ads and what they're for. So through most of this video, I'm going to be using the Roblox documentation to lead you and take you through a visual learning path. However, at one point we will be inside of Roblox Studio where we'll add immersive ads for ourselves. Please keep in mind that the immersive ads manager, which is where you buy and create your ads, is still in beta, so there may be issues with that. Make sure you just keep an eye out on that and always head to Roblox support if you have any problems there. Let's talk about what the Immersive Ads system is. The Immersive Ads system allows you to insert ad units into your experience that permit Roblox to programmatically serve ad content from advertisers to your active users. And once again, later we're going to be learning about the advertisers. So if you want to skip over to where we create adverts for ourselves, just look in your timeline at the bottom of your screen and skip to the chapter. So first of all, there are two types of different ads. You have your image ads, which are these images. And then your portal ads, which look a bit like this. Let's watch the video. Okay, so there's a portal, and there's a little entrance bit, and you do have an image you can add. Is that all? Yep, that's all. Ad content is specific to the user, meaning two users might simultaneously see different images or teleport to different advertiser experiences from the exact same ad unit. And if a user is ineligible to see ads, ad units display a fallback image of the Roblox logo. To illustrate this concept, see the following three images. So here we have user A, B and C, which are all the same users inside of one game. And as you can see, they all have different views from what they can see. One person has this Beyond the Dark advert, another has this I can't exactly see what that is advert, and then here's someone who hasn't loaded the ad. Roblox has an ad fraud systems in place to create a positive advertiser, publisher and user experiences. Per Roblox's advertising standards, if you engage in malicious practices to inflate impressions or teleports, Roblox may deduct Robux from your expected payment or reclaim fraudulently earned Robux. In addition, Roblox may suspend your experience and slash your account. While everyone can insert ad units into their experiences, Roblox only serves ads into ad units if their experience is eligible to serve ads. It's eligibility status to serve ads by visiting your experiences details page on the creator dashboard. In the left hand navigation analytics section displays an immersive ads header, your experience is eligible. Okay, so let's just have a look at our game. So here we are, and this is a game I made on stream a while ago in an hour I think it was. And as you can see, if we have a look in analytics, we do not have, let's check, overview, acquisition, engagement, retention, monetization, developer stats. And as you can see, we do not have the immersive ads tab. And that's okay, so you need to reach a certain criteria to be able to enable this. So if you want this in your game, you must have XYZ visits, XYZ currently playing, and probably more factors, however, I cannot disclose them as I don't know them, and I doubt Roblox will disclose them in the future, because I doubt they will want to share the criteria for that, as I presume they would want to prevent people from presuming and reaching those limits. Okay, so let's go now onto inserting ad units. So I'm just going to head back to my game and edit in Roblox Studio. And then we're going to go ahead and teach you how you can insert ad units into your Roblox game. Okay, so when you insert an ad unit into an eligible experience, it's important to check each image ad surface that displays the ad before you publish your experience to confirm whether or not that ad unit is valid. So as you can see, there's an invalid ad and there's a valid ad. This ad unit is valid and can serve ads. This ad unit is invalid because it's too small. Okay, and then for image ads, you also have to set it. So let's add a image ad. So we're also gonna follow the docs simultaneously while doing this. So what we'll have to do is create a part and then we're going to create to the face and then we can change it to how we want to be. Let's head to Roblox Studio where we'll create an image ad. Okay, so here we are inside of my Roblox game. So it's looking pretty clean, it's looking pretty nice. However, I want there to be a board. So let's look for a board. This is just a free model. Yep, billboard sign road. Okay, so this is a massive billboard as you have figured out. And I'm gonna drag it across. And this is going to be for my image ad. So there's no portal. And let's go ahead and create the image ad. So we here we have our part. 
Okay, and now we're going to search for add GUI and add it into the game. Okay, now I'm just going to drag this out. Okay, and as you can see, the image adds is on this size. So I'm going to bring it back, and if it's not visible, you can always change the face that it's on. So let's change it to be on the back, and there we go, we have our image add. And now, as you can see, if we make this too small, for example, it should invalidate. I don't know how small these can get. And there you go, it's invalid. But we're going to have this massive billboard up here, and this is where our immersive ad is going to be. Now let's head back to the docs and see if there's anything we have to do. Okay. And this looks all good. So I'm not sure if this is going to work inside of Studio, but let's give it a go. Let's have a look at this table. Active, the ad is unit to serve ads. The user is ineligible to see ads. The user has seen too many ads. There's a low demand for advertisers during that time. There aren't any ads. Okay. And it is blank. And let's read the server. Okay, there are no logs. And okay, this is inactive because there aren't any ads that target the user's criteria. So, for example, there are going to be many factors that affect this. However, I'm not sure how much Robux this makes you. I would presume you can get quite a lot of Robux, but once again, you'll have to meet the criteria, which can be difficult. Next, let's enable portal ads. So for this, you're going to have a static, non-clickable image and a door that teleports users to an advertiser's experience. So for example, the following two portals and ad packages have the exact same core components, but they include different visual elements you can customize to change how these ads units look and feel within your experiences. Okay, so to import a portal ad, open the creator marketplace, go to the toolbox and then go to the categories and then you can take it from there. Actually, Roblox has a ton of pre-built immersive ad systems that you can use inside of your game. So let's go to categories, see all, ads, and there we go, we have a portal ad. So, what's this? Okay, this is a massive... Okay, so this is like a fairy portal map. Okay, that's nice. Let's just go for something... Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to move this across. And this is now a advert with a portal. So I'm just going to plonk this here. And then we're going to publish this. And this is how you can add immersive ads into your game. So you can remove ad units for ineligible users if you want to, however you can do some custom coding, I'm not going to do that now, and once again, if you do have the immersive ad metrics, you're going to be able to see this. So I'm going to see if this is visible on Roblox, once again, this is my first time playing with this feature, so I don't know if it will work yet, however I think you will only be able to see this if you're eligible, but once again, there are many, many, many factors that affect whether you're going to be able to see these adverts. Okay, and as you can see, these ads are all valid, but none actually have any loaded. Now I'm going to look for a game and demonstrate immersive ads. Okay, so basically I'm stupid and I couldn't find any Roblox games that currently have immersive ads enabled, but I'm sure there are hundreds out there. And now I'm going to show you what you can do if you're a business or person looking to advertise your ads on immersive ads. So first of all, you're going to need to go over to ads.roblox.com. Now another disclaimer that if you're not over 18, you're not going to be able to use immersive ads. It's just one of the rules of the ads manager and if you're not over 18, you're not going to be eligible to have an advertising account. However, if we head back over to the developer documentation, I'm going to show you how you can create an ad account and advertise. First of all, you're going to have to go through the creating an ad account, which, I, which I'm going to presume is a KYC process, which is getting to know your customer. Um, you have to add a payment method and another disclaimer here is you're not going to be able to buy adverts on immersive advertising with Robux. You're going to have to be able to use a credit or debit card. And now here is how you can create the ad campaign. So in your immersive ads panel, you're going to be able to create your campaign. And then here you can select your objective. So whether you want to get visits or you want to get awareness. Now I presume visits is going to suggest they use portals. And then awareness is going to suggest that you use images. Then here you can set and then here you can set your daily budget or your lifetime budget. And then here you can determine the length of your campaign by selecting the set end date button. End dates are optional when using daily budgets. Lastly, name your campaign for easy reference and then click the next button. Then here you can define ad sets. So here you can set 
Here you can set who you want your ads to reach. So you can set the location, the gender, the ages, the devices, and then you can determine how you want to spend your budget. So on bidding, and then you can have one USD, 1000 impressions, and of course you can change that how you want. Lastly, name your ad set for easy reference and then click on the next button. Bidding and auction. Roblox runs an auction to determine the best ad to show when there is an ad opportunity. Advertisers set the maximum price they're willing to pay as CPM, cost per thousand impressions, or CPT, cost per one teleport. Roblox considers the players and ad information to generate an ECM, effective cost per thousand impressions value for each ad in the request. All eligible ads participate in a second price auction. The ad with the highest bid wins the ad slot, but only charges the price of the second highest price, plus one cent. In principle, it looks like this. Number one, advertisers submit their bids for ad space. Number two, Roblox calculates the eCPM value for each ad based on the player and ad information. Three, the ads are then placed into an auction. Four, the ad with the highest eCPM value wins the auction. And finally, number five, the advertiser is charged the price of the second highest e CPM value plus one cent. And eventually this is going to keep going. So here's how you can create an image ad. So you can click on the ad type, you can upload the file, and then of course you can replace the image and then you can review the window displays. Then for portal ads, you're going to be able to set a destination experience and an image. Finally, you can review the campaign and then edit any values if you want to. Ad reporting is a tool that provides necessary information to effectively manage campaigns at the campaign ad set and at an individual ad level. Ad reportings help advertisers evaluate campaign performance, optimization strategies, and reach their campaign objectives. And then as you can see in immersive ads, you can see all of these details. So we have the schedule, the objective, the budget, the CPT, um, the teleport rate, the uh, teleports, the CPM, impressions and the money spent, the status if they're off or on, and the name. So there are a ton of settings you can set here and a ton of analytics you can look. But honestly, I think I'm personally for immersive adverts. I think now that Roblox has added a ads manager, it's going to add so much potential for new businesses to get their game out there. Especially since Roblox has been needing a much needed way of smaller games from reaching bigger games. Now once again I think they need to improve their algorithm but I think this is a step in the right direction and personally I think Roblox is going to get a lot from this. Now if you have any questions about Ads Manager or you want to talk with the community about Roblox, their updates and everything like that head over to my forums which is forums.thecookie.dev and if you have any other questions feel free to ask me I'm happy to help even if they're scripting support. Thank you for tuning in, that's all from me and bye bye.